Hello everyone. Imagine if I was to tell you that there is an AI system which we can talk to that knows everything there is to know about you and it can even respond in your voice. Impossible, right? Well, not quite. Let me show you what I mean. So here I've got this open web UI interface and the best part is that it's completely free to use. So I'm going to get started by trying to call myself. Now here's the thing. The first time that I try to call me, it's going to take me a second to load up. But pretty much after that, the conversation should be pretty much naturally free flowing. Let's try it out. Hey, what's your name? Hey there, my name is Amish Suchak. What can I do for you? Hey Amish, uh, why don't you tell me about things that you like? Oh, I enjoy eating pizza, paneer tikka masala, and garlic naan. I also love playing on my PS5, especially GTA Online. Moreover, my favorite movie is Idiocracy, and I really like bands like Metallica, Led Zeppelin, and Pink Floyd. It's all about the things that bring me joy. That's great, Amish. Um, do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Lulu. She's a lovely companion. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, let's stop there now. <laughs> before this gets even scarier. If that piqued your curiosity and you're wondering about how you can set this up for yourself, well, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video right here. So let's go ahead and try it out. So first I'm gonna to go to 11labs.io and here I'm gonna to go to the app and you can see here that within the app, I've got a ton of different voices. So I've got access to Brian. The thing always happens that you really believe in and the belief in a thing makes it happen. Alice. Just trust yourself, then you will know how to live. I've got Eric. Gratitude is riches, complaint is poverty. And Lily. I have never been hurt by anything I didn't say. And you can see here that I also have my own voice. I was basically born... No and here's the thing. If you go to the subscription model, there's a bunch of different uh, subscription tiers that you can get. In the free one, you have access to all of these different voices. Now, in the starter pack, which costs about five bucks a month, you can clone your own voice with just a minute of your own audio. So that's pretty much what I did. And once you have your voice cloned, all you would do is click on API keys. And here we can generate our own key. I've created my own key. And what you, all you would do is you would copy this key. And if you go to the open web UI interface, we can pretty much just paste it. So let's just copy this for now. And then after copying this key, I'm going to go over to open web UI, which is running currently on my local host 3000. And here I'm going to go to my admin panel settings and audio. I've copied my API key, which don't worry, I'm going to delete this right as this video ends. I'm going to select the voice as my voice and the model as I can select the multilingual model. I was just trying out different experiments with different languages, but if you wanted to, you could even try the 11 labs turbo model as well. You would just delete this part and you you see here that there are a bunch of different models that are available. Let's stick with this one for now because I've tried it before. And that's pretty much it. Now that's on the audio side. How does the model actually know information about me? Let's look at how we can set that part up now. So to do that, what you would do is go to your models and well, maybe not in your models, but in your workspace, you can see here that we have a model section. We can create our own model. Now, obviously I'm not going to create an entire machine learning model from scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, use an existing machine learning model. Let's just say that I choose one like the GPT-35 Turbo. It's a pretty quick model. I'm going to call this the conversation bot. And the description, I'm going to say that this bot knows everything there is to know about Amish. And the prompt, so this is what your model is going to look at every single time it's going to give a response. So for example, here I can keep it short, keep it simple. Just say something like you respond in short messages. You are meant to have a conversation with someone. Uh, do not give very long responses, etc. You can create your own prompt here or create some sort of a customized prompt here as well. Now, the important part is the knowledge. So knowledge is basically where we can upload a piece of document that's pretty much going to be everything, 
all the information about us, whether it's things from social media, or it could just be a document consisting of maybe my background, my history, things that I like, things that I dislike. Now, how do I do that? Well, keep, we can keep things really simple. I'm going to open up a Word document, keep it empty for now, and I'm going to say your name or my name is Amish Suchak. My age is 150. My dog's name is Peter Parker. My favorite movie is Spider-Man. All right, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna save this file and then I'm gonna to go to documents where in my documents I can import document all by just clicking this and then click here to select documents. So I'm gonna select the document that I just saved. All right, so I loaded in that document. And then if you go back over to the models tab, I can select that document. And the document that I created is, my name is Amish Suchak. Let me call this conversation bot two because I've already created a conversation bot already. All right, I'm gonna keep everything else as this default, save and create. Let's try it out. So here I'm going to start a new chat with conversation bot two and let's see if this actually works. Let's call. Hey, what's your name? Amish Suchak. Hey Amish, what's your favorite movie? Spider-Man. What about your dog? Do you, what's your dog's name? Peter Parker. Okay, nice. Um, and how old are you, Amish? I am 150 years old. And there we go. So this bot pretty much has all of this information that we have created in that document. And every single time it's referencing this document that we've created where it has information on the name, the age, the dog's name, the favorite movie. So imagine a world where you can create a document that has all of this piece of information and you can pretty much just talk to these documents or just have a conversation with these documents. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully this gave you an understanding about how you can set up 11 labs, how you can import the API key into your open web UI interface, and then just kind of have a conversation with yourself. I don't see an instance where you wouldn't want to do that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have some more ideas for future videos, feel free to leave some comments in the comment section below and please hit subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Goodbye.